We often hear students say, I don't remember what I study. I keep forgetting. Nothing stays in my memory. I am frustrated. I am losing my confidence. Another complaint we keep hearing is, I have lots to study and I don't have enough time. I need more time. This is a common complaint and this is discouraging. Am I right? So you are not alone. Is there a way out of this situation? Yes, there is a solution and a simple one too. And it is easy. If you stay until the end of this video, you will understand how to remember what you study and also how to have more time. So don't worry. This channel is all about helping you learn faster. So if you are interested in learning, then consider subscribing this channel. My name is Aravind. Now, first of all, you should understand that forgetting is part of the learning process. Lots of scientific studies have been conducted on this topic. Your brain is made to forget. Strange, isn't it? But it is true. So it is natural for you to forget. For instance, when you are learning the chapter 2, you have already forgotten chapter 1, which you studied a few days ago. Rings a bell? Why does this happen? You will understand this if you know about a term called forgetting curve in scientific circles. What is this forgetting curve exactly? Forgetting curve was first discovered by a German scientist called Hermann Ebbinghaus. He subjected himself to an experiment. He first memorized meaningless nonsense syllables like this. Then he checked how much he could recollect in the following days. He made a note of how many words he remembered in each of these days. He continued this experiment for weeks and months. At the end of it, he discovered two main things. The first one was the rate at which a human brain forgets things. The second discovery was how to overcome this. Now let us see the outcome of the first discovery. Let us assume you learnt and memorized 100 words today. If you try to recall soon after learning, you will be able to remember most of them. But after some time, your recalling rate reduces gradually. After an hour, you will be able to remember on an average only 58 words, which means you have forgotten 42 words in just one hour after learning. Likewise, after nine hours, you can recall just 44% of the words. After a day, you can recall just 33 words. After a week, the number reduces to just 25 words. After a month's time, you will be able to recall only 21 words. This is called as forgetting curve. However, the rate of recalling may vary a little from person to person and it is based on many factors like level of difficulty of the study material, how difficult is the learned material and how is its representation? Is it meaningful to you or not? Then physiological factors such as stress and sleep your stress level at the time of learning, whether you had a good sleep and were you well rested when you started learning, etc. All these factors contribute to the speed at which we forget things. But the good news is, forgetting is natural and is common for all of us. In fact, it is part of our learning process. So how do we overcome this natural process of forgetting? Here is where we come to the most important part of the video. This is the technique you can employ to retain all that you have learned with minimal effort. The spaced repetition. What do you mean by this spaced repetition? This is simply learning and revising in spaced out way. Let me explain it to you in simpler terms. Assume you spend one hour of your time to learn a new chapter on Monday. Within the next 24 hours on Tuesday, spend another 5 to 10 minutes revising what you have learned. By doing this revision, you are able to retain all that you have learned 24 hours ago. But in two days time, again you will notice a slight difficulty in recalling what you have learned. If you spent another 5 to 10 minutes time to revise and recall, again the learning graph will go back to 100%. Then on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, spend few more minutes of your time to revise again. Thereby, you ensure that the learned matter is intact in your memory always. Many students complain that they don't remember what they have learned because they don't do this spaced out revision. 
this kind of systematic learning will make sure you are not forgetting anything just 5 to 10 minutes of spaced out revision makes such a profound impact on your memory not only this the spaced out revision method helps you save time want to know how let me explain suppose you are spending one hour to learn a chapter and if you don't revise in a week's time you forget almost 75 percent of what you have learned in the following weeks you end up forgetting almost everything you learned in that one hour and that time is lost forever whereas if you spend just 5 to 10 minutes regularly through this spaced repetition method you have effectively saved that one hour of your time sounds simple am i right are you willing to start this right from today i am sure anyone can follow this revision technique as it takes just 5 to 10 minutes of your time i guarantee that you will be able to retain anything you learn for longer periods of time this is one of the many tips and techniques i have in my kitty in the coming days i will keep sharing many such videos on simple and effective learning tools from which you can immensely benefit if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below if you think this video is helpful then comment like share with your friends and consider subscribing this channel see you soon on another video